I am going to walk you through the process of deploying a policy trained in a SEC lab. We will go step by step using a practical example and along the way explore more important configuration files and robot applications. There are many real world use cases where you would want to deploy your trained policy in say SXM. Let's start with training and exporting policies in a SEC lab. Training is a first step toward deployment. You can either use one of the existing policies provided in ISAC Lab or define a custom one. For instance, the policies we will be using in this walkthrough are ISAC Velocity Flat H1 V0 for the unitary H1 humanoid and ISAC Velocity Flat Sport V0 for the Boston Dynamics Sport robot. To train a policy using ISAC Lab, you can use a command like this. Give the task name. You can go for headless mode if required. Once the policy is trained, you can export it using the play.py script inside the Isaac Lab workspace. The exported policy will be saved inside the exported directory. Let's talk about the environment parameter files. When a policy is trained, Isaac Lab generates two important YAML files, agent.yaml and n.yaml. Agent.yaml stores the neural network parameters. M.yaml contains environment and robot configuration details. These files are typically located under logs, RSL RL, task name, timestamp, params. Let's focus on a few key sections in N.yaml. The init state block describes robot starting configuration, including its initial position, orientation, velocity, and joint states. We can try changing the init state and see how it affects the robot's starting configuration when we load the policy. The actuator section defines how control signals are translated into joint torques or velocities. Observation section lists the sensor or state data being fed into the policy during training and inference. Let's now load and demo the policy inside Isaacson. To do this, activate Robotics Example Stuff by going to Window Examples, Robotics Examples. You will now see a selection of pre built demos. For the unitary H1 humanoid, start by creating an empty scene. Then navigate to Robotics Examples Policy Humanoid. Click Load to bring up the scene. This example uses H1 flat terrain policy. Similarly, for the Boston Dynamics Sport Quadruped, create another empty stage and go to Robotics Examples Policy Quadruped. Hit Load to open the scene. The Sport Robot is now powered by the flat terrain policy and is ready to demonstrate agile quadrupedal locomotion. Robot Definition class defines a robot brim, imports robot policy, sets up the robot configurations builds the observation tensor and finally applies the policy control action to the robot. Compute observation function is to create an observation tensor in the format expected by policy. Forward function is called every physics steps to generate control action for the robot. That's it. You have now seen how to train, export, configure and deploy a policy in Isaacson all within a structured workflow using Isaac Lab. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more deep dives into Isaac Lab and robotics development.